chances are if you're using ChatGPT, you're using it wrong or you're not using it as efficiently as you could. Whenever I go and talk to companies um, and when I'm delivering AI training, one of the first things I show them is something that I call the Risen Framework. So if you go into ChatGPT with a basic task like, hey, ChatGPT, write me a blog article about yoga, it's going to give you an extremely generic, extremely boring response. Um, you've probably done this before. The problem is, what a lot of people do at this point is they see this response and they decide ah, ChatGPT is a bit rubbish. I'm not going to use this. This is not good enough. The problem here is not ChatGPT. It's not AI. The problem is the user. And remember that AI is a tool and we can use it with different levels of skill. Some people are going to be better at using it than others. And the skill we need to use is primarily communication and namely something we call prompt engineering. So prompt engineering is basically the skill of talking to an AI and it's going to become increasingly important. Thankfully, it's not a coding skill. So even if you think, oh, I'm not good with computers, it doesn't matter. It's a communication skill. If you can talk to your friends on WhatsApp, then you are able to talk to an AI. If you're able to give clear instructions in an email, then you're able to give clear instructions to an AI like ChatGPT. Um, it's not about writing in code. It's not about mathematics. It's about clear human language. So what I like to teach people is something I call the Risen Framework. So instead of having a very basic instruction prompt, like uh, write a blog article about yoga, I'll al always start with R, which is role at the beginning. Uh, this is saying act as a certain type of person. So act as a professional copywriter or act as an SEO optimizer. Um, who prepares blog articles, for example. I would start all my prompts with this. So act as a professional copywriter and write me a blog article about yoga. OK, so that's the first thing we do. Second in the Risen framework is I. So R-I. That's the instructions. Right after the role declaration, we need to say exactly what we want the chat GPT to do. So act as a professional copywriter, write me a blog article about X, Y, Z. After that, we have steps. In this, uh, this part, we need to give the exact steps we would give as if we were giving a human employee or a human freelancer um, instructions on how to write this blog article. So we don't just say, write me a blog article about X, Y, Z. We say, uh, write me a blog article about yoga. Start with a really interesting hook to grab the attention of the, uh, the reader. Um, give me three main body points, each with examples, and finish on a strong call to action, which will get people to subscribe to a newsletter. So we give these steps and we specify exactly what we want to see in our blog article. Following on from this is uh, the E of Risen, so R-I-S-E. Um, this is uh, end goal. We need to tell ChatGPT 